How'd you find out she had uh, passed? I was there. I was like there when she was passing away. We were all there when she passed away. We're in the hospital, yeah. You saw her take her last breath? Mm-hmm. I was holding her hand when she took her last breath. Yeah. Why do that? Why watch that? Why make a decision to see that? That could be hard for some people to do. I mean, everyone was in the room, so, you know, why wouldn't I be in the room? Like, she was like a big part of me, so, you know. Does that run in your family, cancer? Um, I don't know, because she was like the first person di diagnosed with cancer. I hope it does, I mean, I hope it doesn't run in my family. Pray to God it doesn't happen, but. Uh, because she had uh, uh, gotten this type of cancer, cerv cervical cancer, mm -hmm. uh, is that something that you're more mindful of? Is that something that I don't know if you can take precautions for or learn or research about more, but have you to see if this is preventable or see what you can do to mm -hmm. maybe um, never catch something like this? Really, to be honest, I haven't been researching about her or anything, but I do go to the gynecologist to get pap smears and stuff, to see if I'm okay. And everything looks okay so far, so yeah. What did you learn from this, her, her passing? What did this teach you? Really, that life is very, very short. You have to appreciate every single day like it's your last day. Live it like it's your last day. You attended her funeral? Yes, of course. Of course I did. Was that your first funeral? Yes. No, no, it wasn't my first funeral. My first funeral... I think it was my dad's auntie, but I didn't really know her like that. So it wasn't like, I mean, it was sad to hear that his auntie, you know, passed away, but I wasn't close to her, so it didn't really affect me. How have you coped since her passing? Um, Your aunt. Um, really, I just, I just try to be closer to her, um, her kids, my cousins. Yeah, I just, I try to be around as much as I can. You remember what age this was when this happened? For you? Um, how old was I? I was like 15, 15 or 14. No, I was 15, 15 at the time. Because you were so young, did you ever seek a, a counselor or therapy for her death? No, I never really spoke to counselors like that. I never really speak about my problems. I just take it all in. Feel like you may need something of that nature now? No, not at all. Now, when it comes to your aunt, what do you miss the most about her? What characteristic? Her joy. Like, she brought so much joy into the family. Like, she was the type of person that, like, brought, like, the family closer. Like, she was always laughing, smiling. She was such a positive person. She, like, she was, she was so beautiful. Like, she was, she was beautiful. Really beautiful. Favorite memory of her you could share with us today? Favorite memory? Yeah, is there something that sticks out? Favorite memory? That you always remember that uh, she did or you guys did together or? Um, um, I really can't think about it because it was so long ago and I was, it was so long ago. Really she would just always come to our like birthday parties, make everything better. Like I didn't really spend time with her that much because I would like spend time with her daughter, which is my cousin. Because I, I will always be with her, so, yeah. I don't really have a favorite memory. I see. Just curious. Was that the most impactful death 
in your life you experienced so far? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Did, did she see any of the modeling stuff? No. I wasn't modeling before she passed away. 